Well, tonight in a rare rebuke, Germany's foreign minister has warned Israel that its plans to annex parts of the occupied West Bank will violate international law. Foreign Minister Heiko Maas issued the warning in Israel just weeks before the new Israeli government plans to make the move, which has also been condemned by several other European governments. I would also like to... First on the agenda, Maas and his Israeli counterpart, Gabi Ashkenazi, signed an agreement on the German government providing funding for the Holocaust memorial Yad Vashem. Germany is a staunch ally of Israel, but the relationship has been overshadowed by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's planned annexation of the Jordan Valley and settlements across the West Bank. Land, the Palestinians claim, for their own state. The German government and our colleagues in the European Union have serious concerns that the annexations could make it impossible to achieve a two-state solution. We think this would be the wrong way to go. The EU has considered imposing sanctions against Israel if the annexations go ahead. Germany is unlikely to take such tough measures. But Berlin takes over the rotating presidency of the EU next month, and so Maas must come up with a common strategy in the EU. Palestinian Prime Minister Mohamed Staye called on Germany to maintain a hard line with Israel. We know how sensitive this issue is for, for Germany, but this under any circumstances should not come at the expense of international law. This should not come at the expense of the Palestinian rights. Palestinians have warned they'll proclaim a Palestinian state if Israel goes ahead with the annexations. And for more now, we go to our correspondent, Tanya Kramer. She's on the story for us in Jerusalem tonight. Good evening to you, Tanya. So we know the warning has come from Germany. Has the foreign minister specified whether or not Germany would actually try to prevent a planned annexation of parts of the West Bank? Well, it was the first meeting here with the new government and with his new uh, Israeli counterpart, Foreign Minister Gabi Ashkenazi, for um, uh, the German Foreign Minister Heiko Maas. And he used this visit actually to stress that um, Germany, alongside the EU, is very worried, uh, very concerned about Israel's plans to possibly annex parts of the occupied West Bank as early as July. And he also uh, used it to stress that this uh, Germany would consider this uh, as in violation of international law. I think what he was trying to say here as well is that he came here as a friend. So he was trying to strike the very delicate balance as uh, Germany's historical commitment to Israel on the one hand, but on the other hand as well, Germany's commitment to international law. And has there been any official reaction from Israel? Well, I think Heiko Maas' remarks have been very well received as a warning, but as a kind of friendly warning, because it was also noted that he stopped short of actually detailing what possible consequences there would be if Israel goes ahead uh, with annexation. And we know that uh, uh, there is a discussion among European uh, states what possible consequences uh, there would be. He actually came here to say he's not uh, putting threats on the table. He says it's still time time for diplomacy, it's still time for dialogue. He even mentioned, you know, a push for negotiations between Israelis and Palestinians, but I think that's very unlikely because uh, uh, both Palestinians and Israelis haven't been talking uh, for a very long time now. And Tanya, how much influence does Germany really have on what Israel plans to do? Well, I think Germany has good relations uh, to both sides, to the Palestinians and uh, to Israelis, but also in the regional context, that's why he also visited uh, Jordan on this very short uh, trip. Um, and uh, also, uh, Germany will uh, take over the presidency of the EU Council as well as the presidency of the UN Security Council. So that will happen on the uh, 1st of July. Uh, so that's the key date, actually, uh, also when uh, the Israeli government could uh, push forward with legislation to the next parts of the occupied West Bank. So Germany will have to deal uh, with this issue. But having said that, the uh, Israeli government has also made very clear that they will coordinate 
coordinate uh, their move uh, with the U.S. administration. So I think you have to ask, you know, what kind of political leverage uh, the EU has. It certainly depends what kind of uh, consequences that will have. And we expect, of course, that most countries, except for the U.S., will not recognize such a move by Israel. Our correspondent, Tanya Kramer, with the latest from Jerusalem tonight. Tanya, thank you.